Hey everybody, and welcome to something a little bit different. Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm is a new uh, DLC slash expansion for Civilization VI, a game that we played on the channel um, in a multiplayer format, uh, but that I wanted to explore a little bit more from a single player uh, context as well. So in the interest of having a little bit more variety on the, con uh, on the channel, I should say, I am going to be doing a little mini-series on Civilization VI Gathering Storm here. Now, I want to uh, get your expectations where they should be. I played a lot of Civ 2. I played a lot of Civ 4, Civ 5, a little Civ 6, and I'm still really bad. <laughs> I'm, like, really not very good at Civilization at all. But, you know, let's learn together a little bit and, and at least try to work through one campaign. And one of the reasons I wanted to... Um, I wanted to play is because they actually added my own country in uh, Civilization VI Gathering Storm. They added Canada, so let's see. Allows farms to be built on tundra. After civil engineering is unlocked, farms can be built on tundra hills. Reduces the cost of purchasing snow, snow hills. Okay, so it's basically just like, hey, snow was previously terrible. But check it out, because you're Sir Wilfred Laurier. And they did forget the sir in front of his name, thank you very much. My mans can extract some value there. Cannot declare war on city-states or surprise wars. Surprise wars also can't be declared on Canada. For every 100 tourism per turn, earn one diplomatic favor per turn. Receive extra diplomatic favor from successfully completing an emergency or scored competition. I don't know what that means. And we can build an ice hockey rink. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Unique to Canada. Plus one luxury, or plus one amenity, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, tundra hills, snow, and snow hills. Provides tourism from culture once flight is unlocked. Extra food and production once professional sports is unlocked. And additional culture if adjacent to a stadium. Interesting. Okay, well, we're going to try. So we're going to play Gathering Storm, Wilfred Laurier. Game difficulty? Sure. Prince is fine by me. Game speed? We're going to play on quick. Continents, small map size. Let's get it done, boys. I'm ready. Why a quick game? Well, because... Uh, uh, let's give it a try on quick first, is my hypothesis. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Well, where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation and understanding. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. Well, I mean, that's a good example, right? Show the world a unified people can forever stand the test of time. Might not be as exciting as, you know, crush your enemies and see them deliver before you, but... Welcome to Civilization Gathering Storm. This will introduce you to the new features. Fair enough. The World Congress is where you make your voice heard amongst the other civilizations in the world. It is also an important part of the new diplomatic victory. Proposals are sent before the World Congress for vote and come in two ways, resolutions and discussions. Resolutions affect all, civiliza all civilizations, such as banning a luxury resource or gaining extra amenities from each copy of it. Dis discussions are potential scored competitions or emergencies that members of the World Congress may join, like World Games or a religious emergency. Members can summon a special session if they have an emergency they need addressed, like a request for aid after a natural disaster. That's kind of cool. That was not in the uh, the base game, obviously, so I hope I last long enough to make it to see some of this World Congress stuff. Diplomatic favor is a new form of currency. Your diplomatic actions will earn you diplomatic favor that can be used in the World Congress to help you or hinder others. It can be earned through alliances, city-states of which you are the Caesarian, success in scored competitions, and more. Okay, fair enough. You can spend diplomatic favor to extract promises, call special sessions of Congress, and buy votes in the World Congress, or save up diplomatic favor throughout the game to pursue vic uh, diplomatic victory later. Gather diplomatic victory points to pursue the new diplomatic victory. Starting in the modern era, let's worry about that when we get there. The previous warmongering system has been replaced with a new representation of how other players view your warlike actions via grievances. Okay. 
grievances they have against you, grievances you have against them. I'm very familiar with the Canadian passive-aggressive nature, so this is like second nature to me. You may also use grievances to request promises from other players. If they continue to go against your wishes, they'll generate grievances you can use to justify a war against them. But the world at large still pays attention to overall grievances. If you've grieved other players more than they've grieved you, third parties will notice. Yeah, you griefers, stop blowing up my wizard's hut. The environment around you is more alive than ever. Flood storms and volcanoes can pillage or destroy your improvements or districts, but they might refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. Interesting. Flooded rivers may damage your improvements, but they might improve the food yield on a tile as well. Volcanoes are high risk, high reward. They pillage or destroy improvements, but volcanic soil is highly valuable and highly fertile. Geothermal fissures are new features that provide benefits to nearby buildings like amenities or tourism. Strategic resources have been divided in fuel ty two types, fuel and material. I promise we're going to get to some sieve. We're going to settle a city real quick. Your choices about resource usage will directly affect the world's temperature and can cause rising sea levels. Consider the risk of these coastal lowland tiles, but keep in mind in the atomic era, flood barriers can be used prote to protect these tiles. There's plenty more. All right, let's get it going, boys. This river has floodplains which means it has flooded before, and might burst its banks again. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. This presents us with risks, but potentially benefits too. Sorry, I know it's really quiet. A flood might affect any tile along a river. A flooded tile will pillage or destroy improvements in pillage districts on the tile, but it might also increase the yields for the tile as a result. Interesting. Please, my liege. As your personal advisor. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We're starting next to wine, which requires irrigation. Tobacco requires irrigation. There's a stone bonus resource nearby. Luxury resources, if I remember correctly, improve a stat known as, that's known as amenity, which is essentially uh, an improvement for the, uh, the happiness of the individuals in your city. And then, hold on, there's other map modes. If you'll give me a It has been a while. I promise you, I played the tutorial through again. Um, so they're recommending here. They're recommending here. I kind of... I, I think I prefer here because mining is something that we're going to get real quick. So let's move over here. We also have warriors. And I'm just going to assume the game's not going to be that rude to us. Let's move our warriors around. Uh, in order to hopefully find not just some new resources, but new civilizations. What's my intention for what? And also uh, towns, so that we can get some new science and stuff like that. You know, new units for free. Uh, what's my intention? Well, my intention. Uh, I want to play not necessarily a passive game, but I want to RP a little bit. You know, Canada as a society has never been, you know, the most warlike. Focused a lot more on diplomacy than anything else, but. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess, as we grow and whether the game gives me the opportunity to pursue that, uh, w combined with my lack of skill. So let's found this. Civilization has accomplished something historic. Yeah. Worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. Agreed. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. All right, our era score determines which age we will earn in the next game era, so we should s seek out historic moments whenever possible. Canadian Empire makes history. The citizens of Ottawa adjust to their new home and keep a wary eye on the nearby river. You know what? Fair enough. We got some sweet music going on in the background, too, that hopefully is not going to get me content ID matched, which is why I'm going to go back here to my options menu. We're just going to lower that dang old music back down there. I apologize. <laughs> now, Ottawa's a good name for this city. I'll give you that. Um, because it's founded on the river and it's the capital. I know it wasn't the first capital of Canada. Because I'm from the town that was the first capital of Canada. And we can't shut up about it. We're going to research mining first. Because mining will allow us to build um, a quarry. Or perhaps a mine. That makes more sense. And take advantage of our... Uh, our bonus resource here, which will give us extra production in the city. So, we'll choose mining. 
and then you guys. What's going on here? City near Floodable River. It's just the era. Fair enough. Choose production in the city as well. This is where people, uh, I'm not going to say they get annoyed, but it really depends on your, uh, your preferences in the game for what you'd want to build here. Certainly, I would say, my personal take, how long is it going to take us to do mining? Seven turns. Uh, my preference, I think, would be to make a builder and then maybe make a farm, then make a, a quarry for the stone. But we could also make a scout and do some more exploration. So, you know what? Why don't we start there? Get a little bit more of the map uncovered. Fair enough. Next turn. And again, I recognize, by the way, I'm making mistakes. This is not for me to say, like, uh, you know, don't backseat me. Oh, it's the Fraser River, dude. That's where I live. Um, it's not for me to say don't backseat me, but uh, keep in mind that part of the, the spirit of the fun in the campaign here is just me hopefully bumbling my way through. Yo, that's an enemy scout. It's a barbarian scout, nonetheless. So I just want to refresh myself here. The scout is going to get extra advantage because they're fighting across the river it gives them a defense advantage but our strength is high enough that you know we're gonna we're gonna get one over on them hello ruka all right we cracked them a good one they're probably gonna run away please don't run towards my base fair enough they we're not gonna be able to kill them units like scouts are unique sure okay so scouts gain uh experience from exploring the world it is known please you guys cross the river first I want to make sure we got no immediate threats. Because <laughs> I'm wary about, uh, you know, taking my scouts away from my base right now. But I also do want to discover more of the continent and, you know, reap the potential benefits that we might be able to discover. I see some copper there. Following this, I'm going to go straight into a builder. So we can up our production in the city. Yo, get out of here, you joker. I told you. Well... Um, first off, you can run, but you can't hide. Secondly, if I go here, doesn't that mean I'm in a position to be attacked by them? Yes. Do I mind being attacked by them? Hovering over. Uh, I don't think I mind, which is not to say that I shouldn't mind, but I kind of want to just incentivize them to go in the other direction. If they choose to attack me, they'll lose. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep my warrior kind of, you know, staying. Or is it if they move out of this square, now they have to deal with, like, I don't want to call it a saving throw, but you know what I mean, I think. So let's keep exploring in this direction. I'm looking for some villages. Give me some science, please. No, that's not how it works. Uh, get out of my city, please. The wife of a coal miner. Mining. We can make a mine. We can make a quarry. And it allows chopping of woods and the harvesting of copper, which is close to our base anyway. Alright. Continue to explore. What do we find? Our city state Geneva! made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Hey, man. So here's the thing. Geneva, the Geneva Convention. Peace. That's kind of in our theme. Plus, uh, Sven Berchi, Swiss-born National Hockey League player. Plays for the Vancouver Canucks. Look at that. Natural bedfellows. What have I done? So we need to impress this city-state. Hello, Geneva. Um... Declare war? No, that's all right. They have something to say. Recruit a great writer. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how to do that. Cannot recruit great admiral. Well, that's a little offensive. Great writer. What do we need? 800 gold? 550 faith? I wouldn't worry about any of that too much for the present moment. Hold on. Trying to move the camera around here. Let's just get closer, see how they feel about it. Maybe there's more over here. Um, and choose research, so that's very important. Irrigation would be a nice thing to get to. In fact, I think irrigation is probably the smartest thing to get to. So if I open the tech tree, and again, I could be so wrong here. How do you make irrigation search? 
it's right there. To make irrigation, we need to make pottery. So we'll start with pottery. Alrighty. We might just want to fortify our warriors, too. We'll see what's going on with these scouts. You know, it's not really... I mean, I would like to eradicate them from existence, of course. I mean, that's a fairly prudent thing for us to take advantage of, in my opinion. Um, but for now, we don't have to worry about it too much. Where are you going, guys? I thought we were friends. Why don't you lead me back to your barbarian hidey hole? And we'll see what happens. So builders can only upgrade three tiles. So I'm going to start by getting... I didn't mean to go there, actually, now that I think about it. I would have rather had a... Um... Oh, hello, new civilized... Oh, that's Geneva again. I would have rather gone here and made a quarry, but we'll make a mine here, and that's, that's fine. So we'll probably do, like, mine, farm, or farm here, perhaps. Three food. Two food. Yeah, it could flood, I guess, but... Uh, and then what do we build next? I'm going to build um, a monument to expand our culture. And I'm going to give the societies around me the benefit of the doubt that they would... New Fair enough. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. What do you mean by that, Janet Fitch? It is not <laughs> but authority that makes a All right, so we have the possibility to get uh, a code of laws now. So let's get... Um, Let's get extra unit strength when fighting barbarians. And let's also get extra production in all cities. Not just for RP purposes. Oh, I have to confirm them, sorry. Is our policy agenda set? Yes. I worry about this joker right here. Because I'm worried that the scouts are going to come in. And they're gonna screw up our builder when our builder's making his freaking, uh... When he's building his mine, you know? I don't want that to happen. Hey, Geneva. You would tell me if there was somebody over here, right? And we'd choose a civic as well. Craftsmanship uh, unlocks new policies that give us... Uh, plus production towards builders and plus production towards ancient and classical era melee anti-cavalry and ranged units. Foreign trade, on the other hand. Trader. Establish a joint war. Join ongoing war. Foreign trade. Don't we get, um, hold on. My good friend Wilfred Laurier. We don't get any bonuses from trade. But. Still seems, you know. I guess at the end of the day, we're going to get a boost for sure here. You can boost your ability to get civics via this thing at the bottom. All we need to do is improve three tiles. So let's let's pursue that because it seems like that's almost certainly the most likely thing for us to have happen. City needs food. Ottawa does not have enough food for its people. Consider focusing your city on food as a very prudent observation. What we're going to do is move you over here for now. And next turn, we're going to have you build a farm. Oh, dude, what the... Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. All right, we found Torres del Pen. And the Swedish... Patron av konst och litteratur. Hälsa jag en annan kunskapsälskande person. Uh, why aren't you Carolus Linnaeus? So this is Sweden. What can I say? Elias Pettersson, Henrik and Daniel Sedin, Marcus Naslin, Jacob Markstrom, Alex Edler. It's an honor to meet you. I will inform your delegates of the location of our capital, but I expect that you will grant us the same favor. Exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. I'm ready. You're not okay, so we discovered a natural wonder. Your knowledge of astrology has boosted considerably. You, after meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. Your knowledge of writing has boosted significantly. All right, but yo, my Swedish warriors, Look at the freaking barbarian spearmen. That's like crazy talk. I send you a gift of bandy sticks, pickled herring, lingon silt, 
and Kanakabrot, don't eat the bandy sticks. Your delegation is most welcome. So I believe that this is like open borders, right? All right, we're making friends already. So my dream would be to swoop in with my scout <laughs> and kill the spearmen. Uh, and get all that juicy experience. Major defeat. Okay, let's promotion available. Faster movement in woods and rainforest or faster movement on hills? Uh, well, can move after attacking, can see through woods and jungle. We don't, I don't really want to make them super strong. I think woods and rainforest seems most sensible. Although there are hills back this way. Let's go for, uh, woods, woods and etc. Just take a little peek around. Unit needs orders. Which one? The Builder. That's not the Builder. That's the... W Go back, you fools. I've <laughs> I abandoned my sweet boy. No, I didn't. The Builders, you're doing fine, dude. Don't even sweat it. Okay. So our final Builder, you're going to build a quarry. Great work. Your knowledge of masonry is advanced considerably. So, I, again, probably should do something with the Wario's, but I know that there's barbarians around here, so I'm being a little reckless. You've also built a, uh, a monument. I think it's probably time for us to think about building a second city. We got Stockholm, Geneva. I'm going to get a settler going here and uh, start to work on, on managing more than one city simultaneously. We got some... Bonus rice over here. Might as well go a little further, right? Ooh, it's the edge of the continent. That's valuable. It's a Mackenzie River. No barbarians? Tech boosted Mesa. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm a doctor too. So we should probably think about heading back soon. Barbarian spearmen scare the crap out of me. Excuse me, did I not build a farm? Okay, so the thing you need to know about me is that I'm a little dumb, uh, especially in this game that I've I've never uh, really played as much of as I probably could have. <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm worried that, like, uh, perhaps the fact that we messed up on that turn is going to set us back, like, a thousand years. With the land around our first city developing nicely, we can fine-tune our production technique. Okay, so craftsmanship's almost done. That, that was the boost we were looking for. Just walking through the Swedish desert here, as one does. Looking for other civilizations, mapping out the world around us. Barbarians approach. We spotted barbarians approaching our city of Otto. No, oh, that's just, just a little dude. I wouldn't even sweat that one. Um, minor victory. I honestly, I want to try to head these guys off. I know it'll never work, but I don't want to, you know, there's an expression. I don't want to write a check that my butt can't cash. You know what I mean? I know that these guys are here. As our civic knowledge grows, oh. so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. Governors will greatly improve the loyalty of the city they're in and give it bonuses based on what promotions you choose for them. To appoint new governors or promote existing ones, we need governor titles. Our main source of governor titles is to complete particular Thousands civics. Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. Thank without you, Ned Stark. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Yo, with our people enthused to try craftsmanship, government and social policy changes are free this turn. So what did we get? Plus 50% production towards classical era anti-cavalry and ranged units. Eh. Plus 30% production towards builders. I, do, I think I just like production in all cities right now. But building builders faster, I can understand. Um, what's the bonus when you fight in the forest? Three, whatever that means. <laughs> um, so one mistake uh, I make oftentimes, what did we discover here? 
New City State quest. The Lisbon City State has given you a new quest. Trigger an inspiration for military tradition. Whatever the heck that means. One of the mistakes I've made in Civilization in the past when I've played is um, just picking things based on, like, I don't even know what we need. You know, we should really look for, for something that we want on the tech tree, I think, that could help us out. Like, do we really need sailing? We have a river, but the the ocean, you know, is relatively far away, and there's a there's a civilization in the way. Animal husbandry. You can build pastures. I mean, what resources are around us? That's normally how I look at it. Um, I'm just thinking. Astrology. You can build a shrine. Gives you faith and great profit points. Build Stonehenge. Um, masonry provides walls. They allow range strikes. Also allows you to get to the pyramids, which are like a, a... Grants a free builder. All builders can build one extra improvement. Must be built on a desert. I don't know about that one. What about the wheel? We get an extra value out of mining a resource. Is that not what we're doing right now? And then, let's see, writing allows you to build a campus district. I'm kind of like, for me, what, what's ironic is that I feel like I'd like to maybe work towards getting a great writer. But writing pushes us towards getting a great scientist. But surely it pushes us towards getting a great writer as well, right? I also feel like maybe writing is not as important as getting new unit types, like a Spearman, for example. But how are we going to get a Spearman when we don't have any iron? What do we have around us? Wheat. Deer. Would we build up here next on the Fraser River? It does give me a great opportunity to make a Vancouver. <laughs> which appeals to me, of course, but... Uh, you know what? Let, let's say yes. Although, requires animal husbandry. Requires an let's, I, I think animal husbandry is where I'm going to go next. And we, we probably won't take as long with all of our future decisions, but it is what it is, right? Choose civic as well. Foreign trade, military tradition, or state workforce. Unit maintenance reduced, government plaza. Awards a governor title. Um, interesting. But let's go foreign trade because it's the cheapest. Choose Pantheon. What on earth is happening? Um, what do we like? Culture is a big one. I'm just looking for anything related to quarries <laughs> as well. Plus two faith from quarries? Uh, what about anything to do with luxury resources? Like, we have tobacco, we have wine. Plus one food from wine, tobacco, and coffee. You know what? Give me that goddess of festivals. And then found it. Canadian Empire makes history. The first prophet has a flash of insight beneath a starry sky. Plus two era score. Look at this. It's the story of our people. We discovered Torres del Pane. We met, we made friends with Sweden. We're founding religions. Everything's coming up Millhouse, dude. All right. And mysticism's improved. I don't really want to do next turn. We, we formed, there you go, just like in real life. Canada formed the world's first religion. <laughs> All right, you want to do this? You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. And we're just going to keep exploring with our scouts here. We didn't actually do that well. Hey. Oh, I got you next turn, brother. Plus extra XP. They heal. Plus seven combat strength. Absolutely. Dust them. No, no, no. no. Hold on. Cancel. Cancel. Destroy them. 
Why does it take two turns? I don't understand. Um, now I'm really worried about our settler. Can I just purchase a warrior? How much would it cost? A oh, hundred gold. That's like a hundred years of value. So instead, what I'm going to do is choose to produce a slinger. And I'm going to move the settler. I'm just going to move him a little bitty. Just a little bitty way towards this direction. And it's he's probably not going to get attacked by enemy scouts. Why would you do it? Was it because I had these guys these guys fortified? No Is that what went wrong heaven, there? Then when I die, I want to go where they went. Will Rogers. Straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean 1. Animal husbandry. We get horses. Well, we can discover horses now. Unlocks the builder ability to get camps. And also pastures. Fair enough. Okay, first off, let's get the scouts moving a little. How you doing? That's uh, not, not so good. I understand. You know what? I screwed it up. I'm just going to leave you back at the base. That's on me. Um, so we've got animal husbandry. Our next city... I mean, to be honest, I'm also kind of tempted to put it here. Rice and wheat... Tea nearby? I just don't know if this is far enough away. If that's the case, I think we would want masonry. No, because we can't. There's no way we're going to build the pyramids. The pyramids <laughs> here. Um, I think we can do archery a little later. I'm just thinking. This means that we can discover this resource, right? Bronze working. Build a quarry. I mean, it has been boosted, I was going to say. Last harvesting of stone. You know, actually, because we have stone, this seems way more sensible. I hope I didn't screw that up earlier. Let's go back and meet our friends so that we can actually found this city properly. Link them up, boys. Alright, so we're going to go maybe found right around here. And maybe... Oh, record-setting river flooding. The Lule River, just flood Lule, has devastated the area as never seen before. Zero tiles damage, zero population loss, zero units killed, four tiles gained fertility. Wow, that's terrible! <laughs> The area's been devastated, dude. Oh, okay. You go this way. That's a village. We can actually glean some information from that. What year are we in? 2600 BC? Oh, we're doing great. I got no worries. What do you think? You think we got a chance at getting the hanging gardens going here? Increases growth by 15% in all cities. Plus two housing. It's a natural wonder of the world. You know what, brother? Is being recommended. Let's give it a try. 13 turns. Where do, where do you build it? Yikes. A lot of good opportunities. I kind of want to build it here, but you know what? The great hanging gardens of Ottawa are under construction. So you guys, I mean, I really probably should have you just stick in the city. Oh, that's a barbarian camp. That is not what I thought it was. My mistake. I thought that was... I mean, it is a... No, maybe it's a barbarian camp. I thought it was a tribal village, but... I, I can't believe I found zero villages. I'm, I'm feeling like a real, uh, like a real Dumbo. Okay, check this out. Exit escort formation. Destroy the scout. Send them. Huh. 
Very slightly risky, but oh boy. It's nice to meet you as well. So who we got? We got Sweden. We have a city nearby. We'd love to sample your hospitality. We got Sweden. And we got... Oh, the Scythians. Okay. I sent you a trade delegation bearing a decorated Goritos as a gift for you. You do have a bow, yes? Your delegation is most welcome. We're all friends here, is the thing. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Okay, what did we unlock from this civic? Caravanasseries? Caravanser? I don't know. Plus two gold from trade routes. All right. Plus 100% production on naval units. We can make a trader that automatically makes roads as it's traveling. Fair enough. Change policies? What do we like? Honestly, feeling still pretty happy about where we're at. Although, making faster melee units in the ancient era, it, it has a certain appeal to me. That I cannot lie. So I'm just going with what the game says right now. And the game says here. The game says here. Can you make it there in one turn? Yes. Tribal village discovered? <gasps> Just fortify. You got nothing better to do. I think. I should never say you've got nothing better to do, because I have no idea. Out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. Y'all, I am a genius. I've discovered yet another natural resource, Mount Kilimanjaro. This volcano is quiet now, but it could erupt again at some point in the future. Well, my civilization is not located near Mount Kilimanjaro, because I'm smart. Excuse me, why is Sweden unfriendly to me? Unfriendly, no grievances. What's wrong? I don't understand why you'd be so upset. Plus one arrow score. Uh... Early Empire. Grow your civilization to at least six population. We'll boost it. What are we at right now? Stockholm's at three. And Ottawa is at two. That's an embarrassment. Then again, I've made no farms. So it makes perfect sense. Clear a barbarian outpost. <sighs> Don't know about that one. I think we I think we want to go early empire for a little diplomacy, but recognize, you know, I've I've put us at a disadvantage here and it's it's time for us to to come back from that. Okay, please don't erupt and kill my scout. I'm found in this city. May I make a suggestion? Settling a new city has expanded our civilization with an empire larger than one city. It's important to keep an eye on the loyalty of our citizens. If the loyalty decreases, the city is not as effective. If the loyalty drops to zero, the city will declare its independence and become a free city. Keep an eye out for opportunities to destabilize others and maybe even take a free city into your empire. It's mainly affected by the number and nationality of citizens in and near the city. Having lots of your own population within nine tiles will improve your loyalty. Populations belonging to other civilizations will decrease it. All right. Assigning a governor to a city will also help ensure its loyalty. Fair enough. So what's going on? We still got ten turns in the Hanging Garden. I'll level with you. We need a builder. We need some population. And I'm actually at 171 gold. You know what? Buy me this builder. I'm going to spend my gold to try to compensate for the fact that uh, we're going a little too slow. What are we going to do after that? 
Well, I know we've got barbarous individuals down here, right? So it says make a traitor, but I'm kind of like, let's, let's get a another warrior going here, personally. And then also, you know, uh, we, let's leave our warrior there for now. And that's St. John, you know, Newfoundland, as it were. We have obtained greater knowledge in the art of building static fortifications. Building walls around our cities will not only make them stronger against a foreign invader, but will also allow them to bombard nearby enemies. When wasteful war okay. shall we've stash. gotten masonry going here. We have barbarian spearmen at the gates. Um, strikes me as being extremely bad. Because they're stronger than I am. <laughs> Fishing boats. Let me see. Can only be built on valuable or valid resources. Yeah. Appeal. Disgusting. Ew. St. John, New Brunswick. Sorry, I had it confused with Newfoundland earlier. Dude, have we really not mined a resource? Like, have I lost my mind here? Found a city on the coast? Yeah. Find a natural wonder. It's already been boosted. Oh, me. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, disregard. Again, still dumb. Let's get our slingers going this way, just so we got some numbers. We can compete with this guy. A chariot. Rice and wheat gain plus one food each. City must be adjacent to a river. Rice and wheat. Dude, give me... What the heck? Is that wheel? Wheel. Dude, hook me up with that wheel action. All right, barbarians. Is this how we're going to end this? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I friggin' thought. Not on my watch. Okay, we're going to build a plantation first. I really thought a plantation provided food. The fact that it provides gold makes sense. So be it. I leave it up to you if you decide you want to die today. Wait a minute. Where the heck was that? I never went to that tribal village, did I? We'll, we'll get there. I promise you we'll get Now that I've remembered its existence, we're going to get there. All right. We've made it through the Strait of Kilimanjaro. We're going to end this episode soon, but we're in real, like, one more turn territory, to be honest with you. It's the danger of Civ is that the game's so dang fun. You always want to, you know, keep it going, right? You're alive! Hold on. So we have a plantation on here. We could build a farm, but I worry about building a farm. I mean, obviously, I'd rather build it here. I worry about building a farm just in case you're, you know, likely to die here. Swamp defense modifier is bad. Um, but it does force you into a difficult situation, so I'm willing to go for it. We're going to end this episode pretty soon. They, they will be longer episodes. Um, one population. That's probably like your second city, maybe even your third then. You got archers already too. Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics. Okay. And soon the world Our actions in this era may lead us into a golden age. Ancient era ends in 10 turns. What a world, dude. Um, let's let's create an escort formation. Then we'll all head here and we'll we'll build a uh, a farm. We could really use the population growth to be honest. Dude, they just beat that farm into existence. Barbarian scout. All right, this will be the legitimate last turn, and then we'll exit the ancient era. How exciting. Dude, I don't know. Spearmen, they got me a little, a little spooked. But I believe if we send slingers against warriors... The war, the slingers don't take advantage, they don't take damage on the way back. But then when they're melee attacked, they'll take a pro disproportionate amount of damage, I believe. Sorry, this was wrong, by the way. We should cancel the escort foundation. And I'm thinking, like, what if, just a little attack to let them know we're here. 
beauty. So now they're like, you know, get me out of here. And then... Well, I do want to explore more with you, obviously. Oh, can we get you? Not yet. Who are you? Swedish? Dude, Sweden's like all the way out here. They've already made Gothenburg. Um, I wanted my warriors to be able to move up one. Let's see how this resolves. You should see the other guy. Ah! So we deserve that. Pretty much like a hundred percent. Um... think let me see we finally made our warriors it took long enough I'm just I, I really wish I hadn't lost that unit early that's pretty bad and also dumb I'm gonna uh, send the builder over here to make a farm and the warriors I'm going to send, you know, up here to hopefully provide a united front against the spearmen. Yo, they got freaking horses and stuff, dude. I'm terrible. <laughs> Get me out of here. All right, choose production. What do we need? Um, honestly, walls seem like a good idea. Uh, but let's let's get a trader going first. And just see how she goes. Um, by the way, St. John, I'm a fool. Why are you building here when St. John it doesn't have the influence to get there, buddy? Either way, that's going to do it for episode one. I'm, I'm cognizant of the fact that I probably made a ton of mistakes. For now, thanks for watching. And, you know, this is kind of the start of a new venture. Not just the Civ 6 series, but the idea that there's going to be more variety on the YouTube channel. If you like it, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe. Click the like button. Give me your tips. Especially tweet them to me. Although, I'll let you know. I've probably recorded a few episodes by the time you, the, the tweets arrive. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, appreciate the support. And I'll see you next time. Coming back tomorrow. See ya.